Thank you, Steve. There's one prominent gay rights group that's not endorsing President Obama. They just have decided to back Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan instead. Joining me now, Executive Director of GOP Proud, Jimmy LaSalvia. Good to see you, Jimmy. So why the decision? Well, I think it doesn't matter who you are, whether you're a gay person or a straight person or you're black or white or a woman or an immigrant, all Americans are living in the Obama economy. And we, you know, we've got to come together and fix that. And it starts with uh, the election in November and electing Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan to replace our failed president. You know, it's interesting because people say no matter what, elections usually come down to a person's pocketbook. And even though social issues are always talked about, yep. would it be fair to say that the economy trumps all of that, even in your mind, as somebody who's advocating for a very serious social issue? Well, I think, I think that this comes down to more than one issue. I mean, this election is, every issue, in our opinion, is a gay issue. And because gay people live everywhere and in every part of our, our country. And, and the same issues that affect gay Americans affect everyone else. And, you know, we're looking for jobs. We're, we're trying to figure out uh, how to educate our children and prepare for retirement. I mean, retirement security is a big issue in the gay community. And so when you look at all of those things, uh, we came down to the decision to be the only gay organization to endorse Romney and Ryan uh, at looking at their vision for the future. See, I just find it interesting because I think a lot of people think that it's a foregone conclusion right. that certain groups in society and, you know, gays or people right. who are into uh, green energy, for example, that they would just automatically vote on the Democratic side. Well, see, that's that's the thing. We're, we're no different than anybody else in America. There are, there are gay conservatives. And, and in the last election, in the, in the Tea Party election, about 31% of the gay vote went to the Republican member uh, or the Republican candidate for Congress because they're just as concerned about the size and scope of government. And um, the, I mean, we're on the brink of uh, fiscal disaster in our country and, and everybody's concerned so, about so it. So when the president came out and changed his mind about gay marriage, right a couple of months ago and said he was now in favor of it. Right. How did that affect you, if at well, all? Well, I think that's certainly my opinion. It's Dick Cheney's opinion. It's John Bolton's opinion. There's a lot of people who are conservative who are in support of same-sex marriage. But like I said, this election's coming down to more than one issue. You know, but, but the president has to talk about things like uh, gay marriage or birth control or you know, chicken sandwiches, because he can't defend his record on jobs and the economy. Mm -hmm. so. so it's all coming down to the economy for Go Proud. You'll be at both conventions. We will be at the uh, Republican convention. We're going to be having our annual Homocon event, Homocon for gay conservatives, and uh, celebrating uh, the ticket and rallying the troops to help them win in November. And then in Charlotte, we're going to be kind of like the, the Homocon rapid response truth squad. And uh, the Democrats are going to try to make it seem like the Republicans are against everybody, uh, gays and women and immigrants. And, and we're going to push back on that and uh, tell the truth about the Republican ticket. Well, we'll see you in Tampa and Charlotte. We'll see you there. Jimmy LaSalvia, good to see you. Thanks.